everybody, uh, it's Hyper, and I uh, wanted to put a different video out for Military Monday, and I was doing my stream earlier, and it was going well. I was having a really good day. The last two days have been, been two good days so far, and that's that's not saying, uh, that's that's pretty significant. That's actually saying a lot based on how things have been going recently, but I recently got the channel monetized and stuff again. And I don't know, it's been a lot of hard work. And, uh, anyways, if you guys don't know what this month is, it's a certain awareness month that has to do with... Um, unaliving and um, health of uh, your mind, right? Because I can't say the other two terms. Otherwise, I risk getting reported falsely again for apparently either saying that I was at risk for those things or exploiting them and supporting those topics if the unaliving and the um, health of your mind, right? Um, and first of all, what happened today is I was streaming, doing my standard Military Monday stream, streaming a new game we haven't played before, trying to just connect with everybody, have a good time, and um, randomly, I get a notice from YouTube that my stream was taken down. And then I got a couple emails from them, and the uh, VOD was deleted, and apparently, according to YouTube, they checked and reviewed that the, the report, because I did, I got reported by, they said it was either a player, or not a player, it was either a viewer, or uh, a YouTube employee, had flagged my video for doing some things I did not do. And I can prove it to you. I could watch the um, stream itself and show you that. I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't violate any terms of conditions or guidelines at all. But I got a community guideline takedown of my stream, which is really unfortunate because being a veteran myself and just a person, right, in this day and age, a lot of people are affected by these topics like unaliving and um, self um damage and stuff like that you know what i mean and it, it to to weaponize that as some like disgruntled viewer i can only imagine the person who reported me is either like a really edgy teenager thinking they're having a good time whatever or they're just some loser that's like an activist that's against the military or against veterans whatever which is insane to do because a lot of veterans don't even like the military and blah 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 and this and that and you're just harming the people in the community in general at large right and then the other option is um you are somebody who is, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Like you're either a troll or a little kid trying to be edgy and like target veterans and stuff, or you're somebody that just doesn't like the content or whatever. You're somebody that's disgruntled and, and that's insane to do. To take these topics that are very serious and affect people on a day-to-day -day issue or on a day-to-day -day bas basis in the real world and use them and abuse them is just disgusting. Whoever you were, I hope you're happy. You are a disgusting worm of a human being to want to weaponize topics like that in order to sling mud or whatever your goal was. Have a like, have a laugh. Like, grow up. Grow up. There's a reason I haven't been doing the charity streams and stuff in a while. And one is because it's, it takes a lot of money and a lot of time. And the last two times I did it, we didn't raise any money. It just was me spending my own personal money and resources to try and do something that just didn't work at me today. And then I come here just trying to talk about some topics that I know about, that I can relate to, that other people who have similar experiences to me might understand to try and help them realize they're not alone, they can get help. And for you to report me talking about those resources is just disgusting. You're a disgusting human human being for doing something like that. You, you, you truly are. Anybody who wants to weaponize a topic like that for um, just having a good time or having a laugh at somebody else's expense or whatever your whatever your goal was, you truly are a disgusting person. Now, now let me read what what YouTube sent to me, right? So they sent two emails, and the first email says, first email says right here. It says. Dear, hi, Hyper. We wanted to let you know our team reviewed your content, and we think it violates our self. H A R M policy. We know you may not have realized this was a violation of our policy, so we're not applying a strike to your channel. However, we remove the following content from your channel. Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 Part 1. It's going to be a hot one. We realize this is disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure YouTube is a safe place. You'll find more details below. What our policy says In order to protect our users from risk and harm, we do not allow live streaming of content that contains the actual unaliving or the self. H-A-R-M itself. Notes that are about self-unaliving or personal ideations of self-unaliving. So this person reported me saying that I was talking about 
unaliving myself or H-A-A-R-M-I-N-G myself, which is a outright flat out lie. And that is a disgusting thing to, to lie about. How can you go to sleep at night knowing like this is the kind of stuff you do? We've done charity streams for veterans in the past. We've raised a couple thousand dollars for these challenges in the past. And you're just gonna put a stop to doing stuff like that to our community because you're a bitter, hateful human being or you're a child and you grow the hell up. Like seriously, look at yourself in the mirror. Like, are you doing anything good for the world? I, I know misery loves company, but are you kidding me? I, I've lost family members to stuff like this. You know, I, I know several veterans who have experienced stuff like this, who have, who are not with us anymore because of topics like this. And you think it's some form of entertainment or a good way to sling mud or do whatever you're doing? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, that's just, it's mind blowing to me that you could live the kind of life you live and think you're in the right or think you're okay to give yourself a pass to do that. And to the YouTube employee who reviewed my video, I hope you feel, I hope you feel good about yourself because I was trying to do some good things. I was trying to build a community and do all this other stuff. And you helped put a wrench in that because you reviewed my video and falsely, falsely said it violated your terms and conditions. Because one, I'm very familiar with the terms and conditions on those subjects. And I've talked about them several times before. And I know for a fact, I did not violate anything. I did not violate anything. I was trying to connect people with resources if they were struggling and you took that opportunity away and you took that resource away. You wasted my time and you, you, you put, you put a mark on the channel and community because you guys are terrible at your jobs. I hope you're happy. I really do hope you're happy because when I got out of the military and I was struggling and a lot of bad things were going on in my life that I'm still being affected by to this day. One of the reasons I found solace and found a reason to continue to do stuff and connect with people and go on to bigger and better things and continue living my life in a positive way was because of the YouTube and the community and the connecting with other people that I'm doing right now. And you are actively causing issue for that. The YouTube employee, that's who I'm talking to right now, who reviewed it. You didn't review anything because if you actually did and you listened to what I said and you looked at the links, you would realize that they were telling people that they're not alone, they should get help and there are resources that can help them. But no, you didn't review it. You just said, oh, somebody made this report and you clicked it. Yep, yeah, it's a violation. I don't know if you have a personal vendetta about the kind of content I make or maybe something political about it or you're just a bitter human being. But yeah, you disgust me. You really do. You truly disgust me. And then here's the other thing. It says, we're reaching out because members of the YouTube community, including our fellow creators and staff, have expressed concern for your safety and your well-being. After coming across content you posted with uh, topics related to unaliving or self-HARM of yourself. If you or some of you know is experiencing this type of thinking or self-HARM, know that there is help and you're not alone. It's not uncommon to turn this type of thinking, um, this type of thinking or action as ways to cope with painful emotions. Talking to someone can help process these emotions and as well as get support through a difficult time. We encourage you to use the resources listed in our help center if you need support. Are you fucking kidding me? Somebody reported me when I'm trying to spread awareness about these topics for saying I was going to do one of these things, one of these other two things. What a clown. What a clown. Like, I don't have time for you people anymore. Like, what kind of life are you living to where this is what you do with your free time? You're, you're a clown. Whoever, if you're a subscriber to me or something like that, just unsubscribe to the channel. I don't want you in my community. I don't want people like you around. You're a joke. You're a joke. And I hope whatever it is you're seeking for in your life, you find it. Because right now, this ain't it. This ain't it. I'm, I'm pissed off, guys. I really am. I'm pissed off. Because this is insane. I'm, I'm tired of seeing other people who are blatantly disregarding the terms and conditions and the community guidelines and they get away with it every freaking day. But then I try and do something to try and spread awareness about a serious topic that's affecting a lot of people more and more, especially in younger generations nowadays. And I get, I get targeted and I get targeted. I get a takedown. I get a community guidelines, um, flag posted up on my video and my video gets deleted midstream. And then YouTube is doing it because they're trying to help me get the hell out of here. YouTube is a joke. It's a joke. You cannot tell me the YouTube moderation stream actually watched my video and this is their legitimate response to it. Because I'm gonna play the video right now. I'm gonna play the video right now so you can hear what was actually said. 
All right. So, so here it is. I'm, I'll be quiet. Hello, everybody. It is Hyper, and welcome back to another Military Monday, where I play military-themed games, talk about the military, and just hang out with some old friends who also served. And I don't know, it's just a good time. Sometimes we do charity. Sometimes we just want to talk and reminisce. And other times we just want to play a cool game. So, um, thank you very much. Before we start the video, I wanted to remind you guys: uh, September is Suicide Awareness Month. I didn't have any big plans for it this year because. Frankly, I invested a lot of money into the PTSD plans, and we didn't raise a single penny, unfortunately. So that's the only thing holding me back from doing something again. I just can't afford to do that again at the moment, but I do have some links in the description in YouTube particularly where you can look at resources for veterans, their families, and other stuff um, in the realm of mental health. Uh, and One of them is actually an organization called, uh, called Stop Soldier Suicide. They do good work with uh, getting vets, their families, and active duty service members uh, the resources they need. So, just a quick little thing before we actually start the video. The other thing is, um, yeah, we're playing Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. We just finished... Okay, well, I'm not going to play the whole video because the rest of the stream that was up, um, at least on Twitch, was up for like an hour. YouTube t took it down right after this. Right after this. So, that means somebody, for them to catch on that, I mean, it means there was a viewer on YouTube, who took what I said and reported me for saying I was going to do something to myself, maybe other people, or um, something like that. And as a person who takes stuff like that very seriously, like I, like I said, I'm disgusted. Whoever it was, I think it was one of my viewers, because most people wouldn't be um, in one of my video videos that quickly. They wouldn't have joined um, the stream that quickly without... Um, a notification because it usually doesn't work that way it usually takes five or six minutes of the stream to be up before people who are not subscribed to the channel to join in um so yeah whoever it was just just leave my community I, I don't have anything to say to you i don't have anything to say to you you're harming my channel you're harming my livelihood you're harming my family and you're really spitting on people who actually are struggling and actually are going through really hard times i have friends from the military that are struggling right now, who have been institutionalized. I have friends from um, the military who are not with us anymore. I have family members who are not with us anymore. And you, you sicken me, whoever you are. You're, you're not welcome in my community anymore. I don't want people like you around. I don't want people that um, think that that kind of stuff is a joke around. I don't have time for that kind of immaturity. All right? So that this is just, just a rant, guys. You can't really trust anybody online, and that's that's part of it, like, with coming um, onto these platforms like this. You're going to talk about anything, and if somebody doesn't like that, they can report you, and YouTube moderation, they, they don't care. Their employees are these, these woke people that just want to watch the world burn for people like myself and other veterans and stuff like that, and it's really unfortunate, and it's really sad, because I was trying to do a good thing this month. I was going to try and put out another video today about... Um, connecting veterans with resources and stuff for military Mondays. And now I'm not going to do that. Now I'm not going to do that. So thank you, YouTube. The last time I really buckled down and did another video like that and did a campaign, we raised a couple thousand dollars to donate to some charities who are helping veterans and their family members that are at risk. And I, I, I now it's, it's too risky for me to do something like that. So to YouTube, to that employee, to the person who reported me, I hope you guys are happy. I really do. I hope you guys are happy. I, I really do. So I put a lot of work and thought and honestly love into what I do, trying to, you know, talk about these topics that I'm passionate about that I think people can make a difference with when the world is such a terrible place right now. And it's also terrible because people like you go to sleep at night. And I hope every night you go to sleep until you realize what you did was wrong and you do better that you're thinking about, wow, I'm a terrible person for doing something like that because you are. You are. You're a terrible person for doing something like that. Whoever you were. And I'm just so disappointed. I'm disappointed that somebody in my community would do something like that. Because, it, like I said, it must have been one of you guys. It must have been. Because I, I don't get pushed to the front of ad space. I have to wait till I get views from the community. And then people start joining. And I've, I, I can go through my analytics for hours and prove that that's true. So it must have been somebody that's in the community that did it. I hope you see this. I hope you see this. I hope you understand how disgusted I am. Anyways, I'm going to have those links in the description again. If you're a veteran 
where you're somebody that knows a veteran or an active duty service member or a family member who's struggling with that crazy life that comes along with military service and stuff, feel free to reach out. I mean, if you, anybody who wants to talk, you're well, more than welcome to DM me. You're more than welcome to um, uh, talk in the comments. You're more than welcome to click one of those links and try and get connected with some resources and maybe other people that will help. That's what we're here for. I wanted to have a cool gaming community. We help each other. We hold each other up. We do these charity events and stuff like this. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully we do in the future more. I don't know. It, that That's that's to be decided by myself. And uh, we'll see what happens. But um, if you are one of those people, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry because I myself know what it's like to struggle with a lot of really crazy things in your life. And I know a lot of people who are going through stuff right now too. Because, you know newsflash it's not it's not going so great right now in the world and every little tiny thing like this makes it even worse it makes it even worse and i would like to apologize to you guys for that for i don't know i guess not 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 trying hard enough on making making this stuff go out there in a way that's safe and i'm not sure i'm not sure we'll see what i do anyways to everybody who has supported us who is genuine who actually cares about issues like this who's leading the the way in making the world a better place like if you're a net positive thank you i appreciate you i thank you for the support thank you for helping me continue on this journey in youtube and thanks for being a part of the community in a positive way to everyone else who's not that doesn't fit that definition please leave you're not welcome anyways i hope you guys have a good week um i'll be back tomorrow with terror tuesdays but um yeah until then i guess you guys have a good one peace